Okay, I've got the uh, front and rear clam tilted up, and doors open, so we can take a look at closer look at some other stuff. There's a good shot of the radiator. It's a Griffin uh, four-row radiator. They say it'll handle 600 horsepower. Twin high-speed electric fans. Uh, you can see the cooling tubes. They run down the, through the center tunnel. Front suspension is based on a Mustang II, uh, except for we use push rods with this rocker arm setup that we got from Shelby Motorsports in Las Vegas with the coil over springs uh, mounted inboard, kind of race car style. Um, fully adjustable caster camber toe ride height with the coil overs. Uses a Ford uh, rack and pinion steering unit. Now we got two fuel filler caps. We've got two gas tanks. The gas tanks are located on the door seals, just like the original car was. Um, the pump is on the one on the right side in here, and the, so the pump is under that housing there. We have our emergency off switch, electrical switch. Uh, the uh, the uh, you can switch with that valve at the bottom there that ball valve you can switch either to run off just the right side tank or to run off of both um, so that there's a half inch tube that runs between the two tanks that get that equalizes the tanks so you can run off of both they are approximately 11 gallon tanks engine is basically a bone stock Cadillac North Star with the exception of the headers, which uh, we fabricated. Um, and also the fuel injection system is not stock, it is a Holley um, HP EFI system. It's fully tunable, programmable. The headers, one feature on the headers is they, the flange on them is for a T4, T3, T4 turbo. My original intention was to go ahead and put twin turbos on it after I learned how to drive it with uh, 300 horsepower which is what it makes now twin turbos you can or any turbo you could jack it up to around 500 um, you could also get it to 400 by just doing a cam swap and which would also require bigger injectors so cam and valve spring swap will get you to 400 with a 8500 rpm red line Uh, rear suspension is based, the lower control arms are factory 5 units, um, the stub axles are Ford T-Bird, like late 90's T-Bird when they had the independent rear suspension, uh, dual adjustable um, QA1 coilovers, front and back. Um, and on this side, this tank actually has the sanding unit in it. But and when you have the valve open, it just reads, you know, the level because both tanks will be at the same level. Uh, don't know what else to show you. That's, that's about it. The transaxle is Porsche, uh, a 915 transaxle, 83 Carrera. It's been rebuilt. It had the ring gear flipped to accommodate the uh, the transaxle being in the back instead of in the front of the motor. There's a view of the cable shifter. Um, yeah, I guess that's about it. Uh, there's a video of the car running at Miller Motorsports Track, an in-car video. You can hear what the car sounds like. And It was when I first got the car. It's not a real fast run. It's just a kind of a shakedown run, but that's the only video I, I have of it running on the track. So. Uh, that one's posted on my YouTube channel also. So this is for sale. I'm asking $35,000. we will look at trades. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm a car guy. I'm interested in all kinds of classics, hot rods, that kind of stuff. Sports cars. We're kind of looking for a Lotus right now. So that would be my ultimate trade. If someone could trade me a, a nice Elise for it, that would be cool. I'm Basically, I'm getting rid of it because I hardly ever drive it. It's only got 900 miles on it in seven, six, seven years. Um, I'm looking for something I could drive. I don't dare drive it to the 
Walmart, someone will run into it or or something. I'm just I have way too much time and effort into it to let somebody ruin it for me. So looking for something more of a kind of a daily driver anyway. So anyway, 